Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday to you. I hope you've had a great week and I hope that you are healthy <laughs> and do not have the same cold that I do. Um, I am feeling a little bit better, but now you can probably hear that it's gone into my chest. And so um, I am taking the Mucinex D and then <clears throat> I've just been taking like Tylenol and ibuprofen for everything else. But so forgive me if I run out of breath or don't talk quite as much in this video, which I know to some that will be good, but um, I would not dare go a Friday without making a video because I would miss you guys so much. Um, but I'm going to show you what I got this week, and I got some good stuff. So um, first I'll show you a couple of dresses. Um, you, you can probably see in my past videos that the spring and summer mean dresses to me. I do love, like today I've got on my like capri boyfriend type jeans, and I do love those. But to me, nothing is more feminine, um, cooler, easier, um, and just comfortable as a good dress. And so that's what I really, when I go into a store, that's what I'm really looking for. And um, last weekend, I went in Belk's, our local department store, and they had all their dresses, I think, 40 or 50% off. And um, so I got a couple. And um, here's one of them. And this is just the New Directions, which I believe is a Belks brand. But um, it's just a good dress. It's not too short. Um, back in my heyday, I probably would have worn them about that short. <laughs> but um, it is very fitted. But because of this layering, it's very forgiving, too. And it's very, I hate to say thick, but it's just not too clingy. But yet, it does give your silhouette. This was John's favorite. And um, so I was real tickled to get that because that will be one, you know, you always need one um, in case you have a girls' night out or a date night or something where you want to look just extra snazzy. So, um, and that was the I new direction. love. And actually, John liked this too. Um, and it is Ronnie Nicole. And um, it was 86, but I believe it was 40% off. And it's just like a, a shirt type dress. And um, I know that that's like a fashion no-no for stripes going horizontal, but I think stripes are just so in right now that um, it kind of goes over that a little bit. And this is very full. You can see it's just, it's really like a big shirt, and it fits really cute, a lot cuter than you would think, because this up here is pretty fitted. And um, I just thought it would look great with, oh, and it has pockets. See the pockets at the bottom two of them on, one of them on each side. And so that gives it that casual look, but yet it's that slinky material. Um, I'm not sure what it's made of, but um, so it's, you know, it, it's, it flows with you. It doesn't go way out. It's 95% polyester, 5% spandex. So um, also machine washable, <laughs> so that, that helps. Then I, I got um, last weekend, and I, was, I told you a little bit about it yesterday, is this necklace. And you can see, gosh, I hate to take it off. Um, well, I will. Okay, so here it is. And it's actually a little bit longer than the Lisa Taubes from Lorraine. And um, I got it at Dillard's, and it's like the Dillard's brand. The little, there was just one little tag on it, and it said um, Dillard's um, something, oh, I can't remember, something about good for sensitive skin or I can't remember what it said. That might be silly. I might, I might be saying something bizarre here today. But anyway, um, so, and then here's the little catch on it. So here this one is, and it was uh, $28.99. Okay, this is the one from Lorraine, which was $175, which, in all fairness, this one um, is gold-filled. Um, and in this one, they do have, I got the silver, and I actually got a rose gold um, that I sent to Rhonda, and I'm going to get another one for me. And then they have um, gold, and then they have um, the dark, almost black. I can't remember what the name of that color is. So they had several different colors of this, and so here is the comparison. So you can see that they are the same design. Um, the same, they're faceted the same. The only thing is, this one is a little bit um, thinner and like a little bit more dainty. And at first I was thinking, you know, maybe this will not wear as well as this one because it's, this is lighter. 
but I have worn this and it wears just as well. And one thing that I kind of like about this even better is, you know when you have necklaces looped around a couple times how they're always shifting and you're always having to kind of pull them? Now, even if you have to pull them gently, you have to pull them a little bit to adjust them. Well, with this, um, it, it's kind of scary because I'm scared it's, I'm either going to break it or pull the loops or whatever. So, I guess the final verdict would just be up to you. Um, if I, you know, was just wanting to spend a whole bunch of money, of course, I do like that this is just a little bit lighter. Um, but like I said, it's a little bit shorter too. I think, here, let me hold them side by side. Okay, so you can see the silver one is just a little teeny bit longer than the one from Lisa Talbez. Probably about, I'd say probably two inches or so. So, um, I do really like this one. I don't regret buying it. If I had just an extra couple hundred dollars that I wanted to spend on these, I would probably rather have these, but these are wonderful. And I'll show you, it's just so easy. With this little thing I'm wearing today, I decided to um, loop it around three times because I didn't want it bouncing all over the place. So, I will say that they are very, very versatile and um, I don't think you would regret getting either the one from Lorraine, the current custom, or the one from Dillard's. I just wanted to give some of you an option because I know it is kind of expensive. So there you go on that. And then um, at New York and Company, I got, let's see, two things. Um, I went back to get that other maxi dress, the kind of mauve one, and of course it was sold out, but that's my fault. And um, so I grabbed these hoop earrings because I love hoops, and <clears throat> I wear gold and silver, but I, my first love is probably gold. And um, I liked the thickness and the shininess of these, and I, I like that catch. So I got these, and they were like half off of $8.95. And then <clears throat> I wore this belt yesterday in my video. I saw this just hanging when I was on my way to check out, and I liked that it was the tan with gold because my other tan one has silver and I know we can mix metals and stuff but you know a lot of times I care which one it is and I also loved see how it's got the um the little grom what am I trying to say grommets or no oh I don't know the little rhinestones and the little other metal ones and um it just looks really pretty on and I got the medium and I'm a size eight so if that tells you anything and it fits really good I think I put it on you can see I put it on that hole. So I love this. And when you wear gray, your first instinct, my first instinct was to always go for black. But really, I just love gray and tan. I think it is just a really fresh, good, um, up-to-date combo. And I think it's neat because it mixes the warm and the cool. So I love that with gray. And going from there, uh, Will and I, you know, we went to the doctor yesterday, and he did so good because he is an angel. Both my children are really good. And um, we went in Target, and I cannot remember. Oh, we went looking for those Sonia Kashuk brushes. I needed three or four of them, and, of course, they were sold out. So I will keep stalking the Sonia Kashuk section. But I got some more of these tank tops. This, These are the tank tops that I wear just year-round, and I love them. And um, I get large because I like to wash and dry my things. And they are very fitted, very fitted. So if, if that's not good with you, then I wouldn't get them. But I saw this gray with the floral, and I just thought that was so pretty. And I thought this would look good in the summer with that belt and jeans. And I liked that it had the pink flowers in it. And they were on sale for, um, well, they're just regularly placed, $8. So I got that. And then I saw this color, and I love pairing the lime green with black in the summer and so I got that and um, I'll probably put it with black or you could that belt would look good with this too and brown so just pick those up and I didn't really get a lot of makeup this week I got one makeup gift that I'm going to show you I'm really excited about and then the only thing I bought myself was <clears throat> a couple of weeks ago I don't know if you remember I showed you that I tried the Laura Mercier mineral powder in real sand and 
I just didn't care for it. And when I go back and look at my videos, it seems like when I like my skin and my makeup the most, I'm wearing the natural beige in Laura Mercier. So I sent that back and Sephora is so good about that and just got another box of the natural beige and that's what I'm wearing today and no matter what I get, this is what I love the most. So I got a backup of and that. And then yesterday I was telling you how much I am enjoying the cake liners and so I don't know what made me go on the Illa Masca section. I think... I can't remember. Somebody was talking about something. It made me go over there, and I saw this. And um, the name of it is Danger, and it's one of the cake liners. I just love their packaging. It's so pretty. And um, it's a real dark, dark, dark navy blue. Now, I will say I used it. You can see I've used it a little bit. I used it the first day I got it, and it is not this dark. When you use it, I kind of wish it was. I was kind of hoping it was going to be a dark dark almost black blue but it's much lighter when you use it so what I did is I did kind of like yesterday with the brown I did my liner and got the wing and everything and then I went right into my lash line with the black um, I think I just used like a black pen liner and um, I really like that because I do still like the dark at my lash line but I loved the color and this wasn't very expensive I think it was like 22 and um, you know the Chanel is like 45 and I just love these liners, and I will have these, I mean, just forever, because there's just no way you could so, run out. Um, the difference to me in these and a regular shadow is more pigment, and I think, to me, they just don't wear off as easy. I think they're just, and it's probably just because they're hev more heavily pigmented. So, love that from Sephora, and then I got a bunch of goodies and I love that little Ziploc bag <laughs> and um, then let's see I'm gonna save the best for last I <clears throat> last year when I started every summer you know I end up getting some clothes and getting some shoes and last year I remember looking up Jennifer Aniston and her clothes that she wore just I'll do that sometimes just look up you know different celebrities and just see what they're wearing and get outfit ideas and I remember in like three of her pictures she had on these shoes by Stuart Weitzman and I believe they're called Alex and they're um, espadrilles and you know that's the big thing is wedges and espadrilles so this year I really wanted some so I noticed in Belks and in Dillard's they had the Steve Madden which are almost identical so um, I looked up the <laughs> the reviews I believe on Zappos and one one of the reviews that stuck in my head was somebody said you must have to have the ankles of a flamingo to be able to wear these shoes and she said because I don't have big ankles and they are tight on me so I didn't think anything of it and I went and tried the Steve Madden shoes on at Dillard's. I ended up buying them and they were extremely tight around my ankles. And the lady said, well, you know, they're going to stretch out, yada, yada, all that kind of stuff. So I got them, brought them home, and I tried them on for John and they were just so tight around my ankles. And I told him, I said, yeah, they're tight, but I, they're supposed to stretch out. The more I got to thinking about the shoes, the more I thought, you know, it's going to be summer, it's going to be so hot, my ankles are probably going to be bigger than they normally are anyway, I just do not want to go through this. So I ended up going and getting the Stuart Weitzman sandals, and they are expensive for what they are, but I had both of them in my hand, and I thought about doing a review and showing you, but I didn't know if, if anybody would care that much. But um, I'll show you the difference. I'll just show you on these. So, and um, another thing is, you know, I see a lot of girls on here getting the Christian Louboutin. And where I live, it's a beach town. And there is just, and my lifestyle, I'm just never going to wear, you know, some pumps. And I hate to spend the money. But I've always wanted, like, some nice designer shoes. So this is going to be my alternative. And they're the Stuart Weitzman. And um, I did get an eight and a half, and um, they're the Alex. I don't know if you can see. And um, I have to wear these. I don't know if I'm going to wear these today because I'm going to get a pedicure, but um, I will put them on so you can see them. So here they are, and I just love these shoes. These shoes are just like, I've had them on my mind since last year. And like I said, the um, color is called Swamp. <laughs> 
which is not a pretty name, but the Steve Madden ones, the color was very similar. Okay, the differences were in the Steve Madden, they didn't have this reinforcement right here on the buckle. The heel on this is a little bit prettier. It's more of a braided look where on the Steve Madden's it was just a smaller textured braiding kind of look. And um, these, the bottom is leather. The other ones, the bottom was rubber. And um, these have just the more padding and I just think all in all they're a little bit more comfortable and they are nowhere near as tight on the ankle. The Steve Madden's, I had to put them on the very last hole and they were still so tight. So um, I just love these, love these, love these. And um, so no regrets. And John loves them too. And they're just so flattering on your legs. And you can see in Jennifer Aniston's picture, if you just Google Jennifer Aniston, um, Stuart Weitzman, Alex, you can see it'll pop up her picture, her and a couple other celebrities. And just in like shorts, they look so good. In the boyfriend, you know, jeans and just different little pants and stuff, they look so good. And dresses. So I really plan on plan on seeing those a lot because, and I really think they're going to be comfortable. So that was my big treat um, this past week. And um, I love them. So check into those. And then last but not least, the, one of the best things that I got this week was from one of my subscribers and her name is her YouTube name is Tiger Nectar and her real name is Liz. Liz wrote me a couple of weeks ago and said that she would like to send me a gift for doing my videos and that she had bought many of the things that I have you know recommended and she sent me this beautiful card and it says born to shop and <laughs> you know I love that even the envelopes pretty and I want you to see this card and I save all these cards I'm gonna do like a big bulletin board in my sewing room and eventually I'm trying to clean it out now I'm getting rid of some fabric and different things if anybody out there makes handbags um, message me and let me know and we'll get together on that but um so she sent this to me and I will not read the card because it is just it would make me cry it is so sweet and means so much to me and in short, I'll just say that, you know, part of us as women is we really should not try to tear each other down, really try to inspire each other. If you see a woman in the post office in the grocery store and you think that she has beautiful hair, tell her. She sent me a beautiful package and I got it yesterday and it was in a box, but then inside it came in this bag, which is one of those neat things that goes in this little bag and I just love the colors. So springy. And then she sent me, okay, I'll go ahead and show you this one thing, um, a model mirror. Came in this box, I just wanted to show you. And it um, came in a nice packet. And you know I love my animal prints. This is a neat it mirror. It's lit. So, and it shows on there how you can use it at night too to just light up looking in that side. So sorry, I don't mean to blind you. But it's, so it's really neat. It's not just your everyday purse mirror it's really nice this, next thing I'm going to show you just took my breath away as soon as John walked in the door I showed it to him she sent me this ring it was in this nice box so when I opened it up I was just like oh, it is gorgeous I'm sure you've probably noticed it it is a beautiful blue ring and it has these beautiful blue and green type iridescent stones and I really hope that you can see this but look at that it's a mermaid, and I love mermaids, and she is beautiful, and this is so special to me. I sent me love some it. Inglot things, and I have, I think I have an Inglot um, lip liner and lipstick that my friend Jenny Ann sent me from Australia, and I love them. It's a real nudie pink, and so that's the only thing I've tried, and I've seen so many girls on here talk about the Inglot, but I don't really have anywhere to get it and I saw um, Goss Makeup Artist did their lip palettes. That's something maybe I'd like to try too. But So she sent me some of her favorite things from Inglot and that is just so wonderful to be able to try something different. You know I love that. So today I use this. There's another one in my bathroom. I use the makeup base because I figured I'd be blowing my nose and stuff a lot today. I was going to try to keep my makeup on. This blush, which I'm not sure if there's a name. I think there's just a number and it's um, 29. 
and I've got this on today and it is gorgeous. If you are looking for an orangey, peachy orangey, tawny type blush, look at that. It is just beautiful, beautiful, and it just it's like silk. Look at the color. It is not like a burnt orange. It's not like a clown orange. It is a very, very wearable orange, and I love it. Love it, love it, and I used it today, and it's very pigmented. I just tapped my 116 on both sides and then just put it right on my cheekbone. So I Thank love that. Yes. And I've got these on today too. Is some Inglot shadows. And this packaging is probably the neatest packaging I've ever seen. It's like that and it's a, I was scared I was going to break it because I didn't know how hard I was going to have to pull to kind of really pull to get this off. And these colors, oh gosh, she said in the card which ones they were. Let me look and see. Let's see. Um, I think the darkest one is 491, and then they're 445 and 440. And they are gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous shadows. Um, I put this all over the lid, and look at that. That's what gives you the brightness. I started off with Laura Mercier linen underneath. And then this, I put a little bit on the outer, just the outer corner of my eye. And then I went right in the outer crease with that color. Look at that color. It's gorgeous. And it has a little bit of shimmer. Just really, really fine particles. Kind of like the black in the hourglass. So it's just gorgeous. And I just love it. You know, purples are like some of my favorite colors. And I love wearing purple. Look, I tried to put it on wrong and it wouldn't go. Um, I love purples with peaches and orangey tones. I love mixing a cool and a warm. I just think that makes, I don't know, it balances out better and doesn't make you cool too. colors all the way down. It will, um, it will wash me out anyway. So anyway, those are very pigmented and just so soft, but not, I think the other day I tried to use my Stila Kitten and it was just, the, it was just like falling apart. Every time I tried to put my brush in it, it was just you know, powdering everywhere. So they're not like that. They're just perfect. Perfect. So I love those and I'm so tickled to try those. And then this is the first thing I've ever had from this brand and it is the Paul and Joe. I was really excited to get this and the packaging is gorgeous. Goes good with my ring. But it's like it's like the papery um cardboard type packaging. I guess recycled and look I had that perfectly matched up. That was weird. And it says Paul and Joe, but this color is gorgeous. It is. It could not be more me. And oh my gosh, I've never seen that. Look at the lipstick. Can you see how it has the flowers in the lipstick? Ah, I had never rolled it up that far. I'm always scared. I just when people swatch their lipsticks and they roll it way up and do like that, it just freaks me out. I did not see that. That is so gorgeous. I hope you can see that. But the lipstick is so beautiful. And she said. This is one of her favorites, and she said it was sheer, but it looked good over Babylon by Sue Devitt, and it looks good over Chanel Peach Lip Liner. So that's what I did today, is I did the Chanel Peach Lip Liner. I started off with the um, Rouge Bunny Rouge um, just around the outside, just to get a, give a little bit of, not darkness, but a little bit of depth to the outside of my lips. And I like it okay. I'm going to try it next time without it, but it is a sheer lipstick, but it's glossy, and it still has plenty of color. Um, I wore it yesterday. After I got it, I put it on to go get Brooke from um, tutoring, and I loved it right by itself, so it's just gorgeous, and um, I don't know if it has a name, but the number is 070, so 70, and um, it's beautiful, so thank you so much, Liz. This was such a nice gift, and I'm going to enjoy every single bit of it. Um, okay, I'll be right back with the outfit of the day and the winner for this week. Um, and I'll be right back. I have back. on just um, that poncho type thing that I got at Ken and Cole Outlet. And then I have the necklace on that, you, that I just showed you from um, Dillard's. And then I have on my jeans from American Eagle. They're just the boyfriend capri type jeans from last year. And um, then I just have a tank top on underneath that. And I'll probably put on a belt. I'll probably put on that brown belt. And then these are the Stuart Weitzman shoes. So you can see they're just so neat looking. And um, 
accessories today. I just have on my silver hoops, and I love this shape hoop. And then I have on, um, of course, uh, maybe you can see it better now. I have on the ring that Liz gave me, which I adore. I have on just my wedding ring, um, my Michael Kors silver watch with the blue face. Nothing on my fingernails because I'm going to go get maybe a manicure and a pedicure, but um, in my video yesterday, I did a little tip on how you could get the ends of your nails white. And um, the giveaway for this week, well, first of all, I'll tell you the, the winner for last week was Janzig1, J-A-N-Z-I-G-1. And she won the Rose Amethyst Lipstick, my favorite Estee Lauder lipstick that is discontinued. So if you will message me your information, just personal message me your address, I'll get that out to you tomorrow maybe. And um, this week the prize is going to be the 225 brush by MAC. It's um, discontinued and I think the only place you can get it is the CCO. That's where I got it. And it's just a large, a large, it's an eye brush, but I use it for... Um, if I put powder over my concealer, a lot of people use it for highlight. There's just a lot of uses for this brush, and it's really nice. So um, if you'd like to win this brush, all you have to do is put a comment below and be a subscriber, and then next Friday I will tell you who won this. And I believe that's it. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, I will probably see you next week. I'm going to take it easy this weekend. And um, so I hope you have a good one, and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye.